This podcast contains explicit language and is intended for adult audiences. The views and opinions of Gentleman No Class are strictly for comedic purposes and should not be taken literally. <clears throat> for instance, like this disclaimer. Now grab yourself a pint and enjoy. Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen to Eureka Heights. We are Gentlemen No Class Podcast. We are hosting a special Valentine's Day game show we're calling Making Whoopi. This is a throwback to the newlywed style dating game, uh, newlywed style game uh, that was very popular in the 60s and 70s. So, everybody, let's meet our contestants for this evening. First up is Tim and Crystal. Why don't y'all tell us a little bit about yourself? How long have y'all been married? Um, we've been married. Talking to the mics. We've been married uh, six years. Um, we got married in Tennessee. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I know. Turn, turn can... our mics up a little. So you do, you Not that stuff. one. <laughs> Channel two. There you go. Make sure y'all See, talk directly into the mics. Shorter, closer one, closer to the mics. Second contestants okay. up are Jessica and Eddie. How are y'all doing? We are great. Thank you for asking. How long have y'all been married? Feels like forever. <laughs> We've been married for 11 years, together for 14. Wow, congratulations. So, so this is your 14th or 15th Valentine's Day? Uh, it'll be the 15th. 15th? All right. Well, good luck tonight. And our last contestants are Georgie and Michael. Welcome, welcome. Hey, How long have y'all been together and married? Uh, we got married in November. In November, yeah. so actual newlyweds yeah. here. How long have y'all been together? How long have you been dating? Oh, what, five years? Yeah. yeah. Five years? Uh -huh. Okay, nice. Well, good luck. So, just to walk you guys through how the game show works, we are going to isolate <laughs> one half of each couple, and we're going to ask the husbands and then the wives questions, and they have to answer appropriately, and uh, they're going to earn points. Well, yeah, I know, because I don't have a... Hang on, I'm going to fix the sound real quick. Yeah, that's my mic. That's better. I'm not so sure. These guys are a lot longer. So, where'd Evan run off to? Yeah, good point. He's right there. All right. So, for the first round, wives, if you will please exit the stage. Y'all know where to go. All right. I'm so scared. While they're getting off the stage. We're going to try to sequester them so they can't hear the questions. All right. All right, gentlemen, oh, you have some notepads in front of you. We'll Prepare to fill out the answers. Let me know when you're done. You're right, motherfucker. All right. First question to the husband. You're going to be answering like your spouse would answer. For, all right? So, question one. If your spouse could have unlimited access to any store, which would it be? What does unlimited access mean? Like <laughs> no, unlimited funds and time. Okay. No nuts. I see that like immediately. You know, I know where she spends her money. Come on. Unlimited funds and time. I know where my money goes. Where's that money go? Yeah, right. We don't have unlimited time tonight, so. I'm just gonna spell phonetically. That's cool. We'll figure it out. Is it how many are we writing on the same card? Just one. One answer per card. Write it as big as you can. Yeah. See? I, I can write. <laughs> Can't see it, but I got it. <laughs> if y'all are hungry, there's a burger truck outside. They have great, great food. Make sure you hit the taps over there. Try out some of the new beers. Everybody get question one answered? Uh, yeah. Yes. All right, moving on. Question number two. Which one of your wife's friend looks best in a bikini? Oh, that's... Which one of your wife's <laughs> friends looks best in a bikini? Uh, that's a good one. Uh, it's a trap. It's a trap. 
think they heard. <laughs> you seen well, that? Well, no, because I don't know if any of them are here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Remember, you're answering how you think your wife is going to answer this question. You're right. So you want to answer how she is going to answer what you think which one of her friends looks best in a bikini. Clock's ticking, gentlemen. Ooh, it's true. That's what I'm like, oh. You gotta pick somebody, man. <laughs> Guys, hey, I still, uh, therein lies the problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm just competitive. I want to hey. win, but that's, oh, a, I know. that's a jacked up question. <laughs> Jessica and Eddie were gracious enough to participate in our Double Dares Challenge a few years ago here at Eureka Heights and took home the grand prize. So they're returning to try to defend their title. I still think that watermelon one was bullshit. <laughs> All right, everybody got an answer for that question? Yes. All right, this is a 50-50 question, oh so this God. should be a quick answer, all right? When it's time to be making whoopee, who's making the first move? That was easy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right, once you have them all answered, put them in order so that you can peel them off. One, two, three. So that they, your wives can't see them. Face down. Oh, face down. All right. Y'all got everybody, uh, everybody, all three questions answered? Yep. Let's bring the wives back out. Put them in order. Wait, they're in three, two, one. They didn't listen. Yeah, flip them. So they can't Make sure he flips the right one. What's up? Hey. Don't show your answers because the wives are coming. So flip them over. They're flipped over. All right. We're starting to be one, two, three. Okay. I See, I got it. Number one's on the bottom. Number one's on the bottom. I'll just grab from the bottom. Don't look. I got it, bro. I got it. I got it. I got it. Jessica will help him. Jessica it's not, will help it's him. not rocket science. I got this. <laughs> He's good. His questions are hard. He did fantastic. Dude, All right, wives, pick up your whiteboards on the so ground. Hard. These questions oh, blow. Should I get the whiteboard? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Make sure, sure, husbands, that you are going to pick up question number one first, not question number three. Oh, oh shit, you look nervous. I'm not too nervous. These are not, uh, just by the way, just remember, whatever questions y'all answered, your wives are going to have similar style questions. So, just FYI. That's good, so, he looks nervous. Yeah, you, you can use the, the big dry erase marker crystal oh, if you okay, want. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, relationship. All right. <laughs> it's a throuple. <laughs> All right, wives. Wow. The, remember that, that you're going to be answering this question how you think your husband would have thought that you were going to answer it, okay? Yeah. Question one. I thought it might be. If your spouse could have unlimited access to any store, which would it be? So, wives, if you could have unlimited access to any store, what would it be? If you, yeah, if you could have access to unlimited access, funds or time, to any store, what would it be? Does it have to be a box store? We have all the money in the world. It's a store. I know. Fuck yeah, that was a hard question. I was like... <laughs> I talked myself out of doing what I all wanted right. to do. I don't think this is right. Michael, show us your answer to if your spouse could have unlimited access to any store, what would it be? What did you answer? That's wrong. The Apple store. Georgie, what did you answer? Target, right? I knew it. Target. Ah, that's a good one. All right. I knew it was Target, but he All right, Eddie. Uh, if your spouse could have unlimited access to any store, what would it be? Oh, wait, uh, <laughs> Louis Vuitton. Jessica, what was your answer? Home goods. <laughs> way <laughs> off. Way <laughs> off. That is a cheap oh, no. ass store. All right, Tim. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> All right, Tim. If your wife could unlimited have unlimited access, access to any I'm store, like, that's expensive shit. Right? What would it be? Store. Home goods. Kohl's. Crystal, what'd you say? Oh, Target. Target. I think that's a common <laughs> theme say among the women. Like, no points See, that I'm, round. I'm no, 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 no. All right. But this is where all my money goes. So. All right. That's where all your money goes? It's goals. <laughs> they, they've got the goals right, cash. Shit, right? Erase. Time for the next question. Uh, you don't know me at all. Oh, 
This was a very controversial question for the gentleman, I will just tell you. You have to put an answer. Okay. This question's hilarious. (laughs) Just remember, it could have been phrased much worse. All right, did we switch? Which one of your friends looks best in a bikini? Which wives, which one of your friends looks best in a bikini? Babe, none of your friends are here, right? All right, Michael. <laughs> what did you answer to which one of your wife's friends looks best in a bikini? <laughs> Run. He said Diana. Georgie, who did you say? I, Ashley. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eddie. Who did you answer? Which one of your wife's friends looks best in a bikini? Liza, who, Liza, who did you answer? Paul. <laughs> That's a ballsy answer. Why would I ever put that? <laughs> I'm trying to win. <laughs> All right, Tim and Crystal, which one of your wife's friends looks best in a bikini? Really? Tim, what did you answer? Amanda, 10 points to Tim and Crystal. Come on, babe. There you go. That's how we're playing the game tonight. Yeah. All right, dry race board empty, ready for question three. Yeah. Here we go. When it's time to be intimate or when it's time to be making whoopee, who's making the first move? Fast answers from everybody across the board, I see. All right, Michael, when it's time to be making whoopee, who's making the first move? Michael is. Michael is 10 points. <laughs> hey, whatever. They want to make sure that they're. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jessica. Eddie's going to be. Eddie, who'd you put? Yeah. Me. Yeah. <laughs> you and Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know confusion know who, yeah, about who was getting things started. 10 points for Jessica and Eddie. Tim, you said you. Crystal? Oh, there we go. The guys are on top all the time. <laughs> You practiced that one. <laughs> Just to conclude, so at the end of round one, the standings are Georgie and Michael, 10 points. Jessica and Eddie, 10 points. And Tim and Crystal, 20 points. We're going to take a short break, probably five, six minutes. Everybody go refill their drinks. Come right back here for round two. Exactly. And we're back for round two of Making Whoopi Live here at Eureka Heights. Thank you guys for coming out tonight and hanging out with us. Make sure you come and check out new beers on tap. There's burgers and stuff on the food truck outside. We are Gentlemen No Class Podcast. There are three rounds to this, so we got another round after this, and we got some great prizes to give away, kind of. Uh, my name's Rob. This is Jake over here taking pictures. And this is Paul back here mixing sound and taking care of the sound effects for us. And we are the Gentleman No Class Podcast. You can find us all your major podcast platforms. Uh, anything you want to talk about, we talk about Eureka Heights a lot. We talk about movies, pop culture, all that kind of stuff. If you like drinking beers and hanging out and bullshitting with your friends, we're the podcast for you. This round starts off with the gentlemen back in the room. They are taking care of some business back there. And the ladies are up here. And they're going to be answering questions and then we're going to, so the tables have turned this time. Are you ready to answer questions? All yeah. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. Question yeah. number one. What is the one material thing that your husband owns that means the most to him? What is the one material thing your husband owns that means the most to him? If the house is burning, he's grabbing one thing. What's he grabbing? Do animals count? <laughs> a material possession. If he, that's, it's tangible. If he can grab it, that's it. <laughs> All right. Ready for question two? Yeah. yeah. Question number two. Who would your spouse say has the higher IQ? Not who has the higher IQ. Who would your spouse say has the higher IQ? (laughs) 
All right. Question number three. Where was the wildest place you were making whoopee? <laughs> Paul found the sound effects finally. Where was the wildest place you did the deed, or where was the wildest place you were making whoopee? I'm gonna have to explain mine. That's fine. I would love an explanation for any of these. All right. Question four is the 25 point question, okay? It's a two part question. All right? So, what will your husband say your bra size is, and what is it really? So what would you what would your husband say that your bra size is and what is it really? Got all the questions answered? Evan, if you can hear me, bring the gentleman back out. Oh, <laughs> Are they not done yet? Jesus. Tell them to hurry up. The gentlemen and the ladies, when they were back there, were filling out some random facts about themselves, which will come into play for round three. So... Apparently, some of them are having some hard time finding facts yeah. about themselves. <laughs> Have him use the. Uh, Do what? Use the, use the big one? Yeah, because. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Okay, yeah. yeah. Y'all didn't have any problems filling out facts about yourselves, did you? At the end, the last yeah. one got a yeah. little. Yeah. yeah. I was last. <laughs> Nobody said it. Hey, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Where's the short one? No faith? Maybe one. All right, I will remind you guys that you can hear how loud I am in the speakers right now. Make sure if you're going to be talking so that we can hear you, so make sure you're talking into the mic and loud. Project from your diaphragm. All right, guys, y'all ready to answer these questions? I don't know, is there? That was just for you, Tim, that mustache. All right. What is the one material possession that you own that means the most to you? That you own. That I own. That you own. What is the one material thing that your husband owns that means the most to him? So, husbands, what is the one material thing that you own that means the most? Can I say what you told me to think about about yeah. the house? Yeah, go ahead. You said if the house was on fire, what would you grab? House is on fire. What would you grab running out the door? Hope you didn't think that way, Ready? Everybody answered? Michael says I answered yet. Just write Xbox and let's go. All right. Wives, what did you answer? What is the one material thing your husband will go down the line? Georgie, the dogs. Michael, what did you answer? Uh, Luna, the dog, 10 points. Oh, that's not a material thing. That's not material. That's not material. You can contest that. That's not material. That is a material possession. You All bought right. it. <laughs> All right, Jessica, wrestling videos is the one material possession that your husband owns that means the most to you. Eddie, what would you answer? His gold chain and cross. That's the one material possession that he has that means the most to him. Why would it be on you? You wear it up. That's not the question. The question is, what means the most? All right. Never take it off. Crystal. What did you answer? His phone. Taylor, what did you answer? Ha and, all your hats? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's you. Full disclosure, when I asked my wife this question, she said my phone also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Clear the boards. Time for question number two. Pull my I get it phone. channel one. Just pull it down a touch. So it's, yeah, there you go. I don't know. All right. 
up a little more. Up, touch more, touch more, touch more. There you go. All right, question number two. Who would you say has the higher IQ? <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you say has the higher IQ? Georgie, who did you answer? Michael. She said, Michael, you have the higher IQ. What did you answer? Me. Oh, there you go. Ten points for Georgie and Michael. You got the score on that one? All right, cool. All right, Jessica, who did you answer? Who has the higher IQ? Him. with the And it's upside down. That was perfect. That was awesome. I answered correctly. Eddie, who did you answer? Me. But what? Only only because I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points for Jessica and Eddie. Crystal, who did you answer who has the highest IQ? Ten points oh for wife. Crystal okay. and Tim also. <laughs> Look at that. Smart man. I like stupid. that. <laughs> Maybe dumb, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. All right, here we go. Question number three. Where was the wildest place you were making whoopee? Yes! <laughs> Where is the wildest place you were making whoopee? I can't erase it. <laughs> I wrote it. I wrote it. Oh, I got this one. I wrote it. Ready? <laughs> All right, Ed, Eddie, we don't need a paragraph, bro. <laughs> bro, it's it, it got to. All right. All right, Georgie, where did you say is the wildest place that y'all were making whoopee? I need Paul the pool this. in Tulum. Ooh, Tulum. Oh, I like that. Michael, oh. what did you answer? Not that. Not that, I take it. The oh, bathhouse in Budapest. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Damn. <laughs> I, right. I feel like I want to give a New five points just for both of those. <laughs> yeah. All right, crazy. Jessica, what did you answer? Where was the wildest place y'all were making whoopee? In the Jack in the Box drive through line outside the car. Eddie, there we go. Check points. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah, right. That is so what did you answer? What is the wildest place? And it was after 2 a.m., so the line was very long. <laughs> That's what she said. I think he's just trying to make himself feel better. He it wasn't a right. short line. <laughs> I just kidding, Eddie. Okay. All right, Crystal, what did you answer? Where's the wildest place you were making whoopee? In a rapist van. That's kind of weird. And Tim's rapist van. Ten <laughs> points for Tim and Crystal. So is your rapist van. I, I had one too. It's okay. All right. This one's gonna be All right. Question number four. This is a bonus question. This question is worth 25 points. Fuck yeah. It is a two-part answer. Okay. Michael, you ready? Getting close. All right. Husbands. This is a question we asked your wife, all right? What will your husband say that your bra size is? And then what is it real? So you're going to get 10 points. You answer what you think your wife's bra size is. You'll get 10 points if it matches what she thinks you think her bra size is. And if you get it right, you'll get an additional 15. Like number and letter? Number and letter. Cup size, everything. 26B or whatever. So here's the way this works. You're going to answer what you think her bra size is. If the answer matches what she says that you think her bra size is, you get 10 points. If it actually matches her bra size, you get an additional 15 points. Got it. I think I got this. I hope so. We'll see. All right. Mike, are you answer already? He's not done. I'm putting two things. You, you should just put one thing. No, no, just one. Just one thing. You put what you what is your husband's... What, what would you say your, your, her bra size is? 
All right. There's not that many digits in that. All right, Georgie. No offense, Georgie. No. What's your, what was your answer? So you said that he was going to say small. Michael, what did, what, what did you say? A something. Her actual bra size is 36A. We'll give him 10 points for that total. That's, that's close. I have final discretion on the scoring. All right, Jessica. <laughs> Jessica, what did you answer? One was 32. Tri Eddie, what did you answer? Because she said you were going to say 32 triple D. It, oh, he said 36. The triple D. No. Oh. Yeah. But we do. Hey, you we got the triple D. So hey, what is your actual bro? Let's, 32 triple D. Yes, I am. We'll give him 10. <laughs> we'll give him 10 points. <laughs> hey, more importantly, I got the cup size right. It's a <laughs> All right. Crystal, what was the correct answers? Tim, what did you answer? She said that you were going to answer 36D. Ooh, but you got the actual one correct. So 15 points were... He didn't get the, the first half of it correct. So 15 points for that. So let's total up the scores right now. So right now we're sitting at Georgie and Michael at 40 points. Jessica and Eddie at 40 points. And Tim and Crystal at 55 points. Now round three is a gambling round. So when we come back, you have the opportunity to win points or you have the opportunity to lose points. We're going to take a short break. Everybody come back in about five to ten minutes and we'll get started again. Yeah, y'all ready? Oh, we just yell. Hold on, you gotta go. <laughs> Testicles, one, two. Yeah. All right, they we are run. back. They just we are back for round three of making Whoopi. Let's go over the point totals yeah, again. In the cool. lead, Tim and Crystal with 55 <laughs> points. Boo, boo, boo. Jessica and Eddie and Georgie and Michael are both tied for 40 points. In this round, we had the couples filling out random facts about themselves in the back. We are going to pull those random facts in random order, in random whoever gets what, okay? And I'm going to read a fact. When I read that fact, if you think that your spouse is the one that wrote that fact down, you yell out, that's my man or that's my woman, depending on who's, who you're answering. So if I read a fact, and Eddie, you think that it was Jessica's that she wrote down. That's my woman. There you go, just like that. If you are correct, you will get 10 points. If you are wrong, you will lose 10 points. <laughs> so, let's go over what our grand prize is. Our grand prize is a scrumptious dinner for two. Yeah, Vanna White that. At Taco Bell. <laughs> and this great Valentine's Get Day it. candy Work modeled it. by it. Eureka yeah, Heights' own Evan. Evan Camp. <laughs> So our first place winner will get that. Our second place winner will get their choice of two items. Either a, I don't know, a, you could call that a lifetime supply of matches or a, a, a one week supply of matches depending on your lifestyle. So keeping your relationship hot with a year's supply of diamond matches or keeping it spicy in the bedroom and in the kitchen with Thai spices. I like that one. The third choice of prizes is keeping your relationship and your veggies fresh with Rubbermaid Tupperware. So the second place winner will get to pick two of these, and then the third place runner-up will get to pick whatever's left. Everybody clear on the rules? Any questions before we get started? Thank you to Eureka Heights for having us out here tonight. Thank you guys for hanging out partying with us. Let's get this started. All right. I'm trying to come over here so y'all can't see which fact I'm reading. Fact number one. I can't stand the sound of styrofoam. That's my man. Ten points. <laughs> That's a weird one, bro. It's like nails on a chalkboard to me. Like, I can't. The squeaky <laughs> shit. It makes, my, it makes me have goosebumps and shit. Yeah. All right. Fact number two. 
For over five years, I only paid for groceries and singles. That's my man. Ten points for Jessica. No hints to your spouses either. We will deduct points for that. This person won first place at a singing competition, singing I Will Survive. That's my woman. Ten points to Jessica and Eddie. Took me a while, sorry. (laughs) This person says that they can sing like Justin Timberlake. That's my man. Ten points to Tim and Crystal. (laughs) I want proof of that. Yeah, Yeah. let's hear it. (laughs) Follow him on Facebook. I want to hear the high note. It's tearing up my heart when I'm You kind of look like a busted Justin Timberlake. I'll give you that. (laughs) Timberlake, not Bieber. Timberlake. This person says that their farts smell like straight garbage. That's my woman. (laughs) Ten points for George and Michael. You wrote a story. Out of nowhere. I'm scared. Wow. Uh, props for admitting that. Wow. <laughs> this person <laughs> says that they have zero tattoos. That's my woman. Ten points for Tim and Crystal. Wow. Very good. Oh, yeah, really? Where are we at on the point totals? They're still winning. All right, so right now... So, oh, we're still in the same place, huh? Yep. Same point those Georgie and Michael, 60, 60, and 75 for Tim and Crystal. Somebody needs to jump off the deep end and uh, take a guess on something weird. All right. A couple more random facts. Here we go. That one's too easy. I'm not doing that one. Um, <laughs> this person has unusually thick ball sack skin. That's my man. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a... That, that, that deserves okay, an no, applause there, soundtrack. There, 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 there's a reason behind that, okay? Ten points for Jessica and Eddie. <laughs> I, I, went, I went to get a vasectomy, and, which is supposed to be a normal procedure, and they couldn't do it. They had to put me wow. under because my ball sack skin is too thick, apparently. <laughs> That's a true story. Oh. That's great. That's fucking great. Hey, you said interesting facts. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this person says that they have a habit of saying you look f- when somebody tells them you look familiar their response is internet porn this person says that when somebody comes up to them and says you look familiar their response back is internet porn nobody anybody want to take that wager at 10 points Oh, we can guess? Yeah, if, if you, you want if you think sure, that that's your it. if you want to take that wager and say that that's your spouse, no no no, no you no. can't guess who it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I want to hear what his guess is. <laughs> All right, nobody's gonna answer on that one. All right. <laughs> no fuck. I think that's Alright, who's gonna own up to that one? Fuck it, I'm gonna say it. That's my woman. That was your woman. <laughs> I remember something like that, that she would say that shit. <laughs> no, no 10 points for them. The round's over. Uh, you? <laughs> we moved on. Oh, ah, no. We got a timer. We, got a, we, got, we have a schedule. Oh, I we have to stay on top of this. You know what I mean? This person says that Spanish is their first language. That's my woman. That's my woman. That is incorrect, Jessica and Eddie. Ten points off for them. Ooh. Georgia and Michael, that is correct. Ten points for them. That's it, right? That's I all mean, ten? it's true, but she didn't put that on there. No, no, we have one more. One more, right? All right. Shit, Last fact. Last fact. 
This person says that one of their toes is shorter than it should be. That's my man. <laughs> 10 points for Georgie and Michael. <laughs> And our point totals. Write them on there because I can't. I can't math that fast. All right. Like how much shorter? In first place, eking by with the win, Georgie and Michael with eighty points. The newlyweds winning our version of the newlywed game. In second place, Tim and Crystal with seventy-five points. You get to pick two of these lovely prizes. You're gonna take the You're gonna take the matches, aren't you? Uh, why don't we just take one of the Tupperware? You take all the Tupperware. Here, no, they can they here, they can have them. Oh, oh that's yeah, sweet. Gonna you're gonna split the Tupperware? That's yeah. awesome. Oh, thank you. What is this, the matches? Yeah. Thank you guys yeah. for We're coming and hanging out with us. <laughs> We are Gentlemen No Class Podcast. Thank you, Eureka Heights, for hosting us. Georgie and Michael, thank you for participating and winning. Jessica and Eddie, thank you very much. Why'd you come on my off? Tim and Crystal, thank you guys for coming out. We will see you guys next time. Catch us wherever you find your podcasts. Thank you very much. Hello. Did you? Hello.